so much uh, to uh, be interviewed for our bulletin at the Public Affairs Center. I'm Dr. Anupurna Ravichandran, and this is Dr. Meena Maitali. So my first question to you is, uh, give all our listeners a brief about yourself, a background. Um, uh, good morning to all. My name is Monica Shilakshin. I belong to the State Civil Service. Um, a brief background about uh, my office and Mopad Block. Uh, Mopad Block was formed in July 2017 out of the erstwhile uh, parent block of Millennium CNRD Block. Uh, I joined as a BDO in January 2018 from my predecessor and my colleague, uh, Mr. Priti Pasa. Uh, after that, uh, as the locality has already briefed us, in 2007, uh, the petition had been forwarded for an Amrwati Centre to Mokyakya, which was dependent on the neighbouring villages for uh, food. So it was uh, difficult for the beneficiaries to keep going to the nearby village or around 2 to 3 kilometres away from this centre. So in the year 2019-20, we were fortunate we could uh, incorporate this project into the uh, MGNRAGS of that year. And uh, we completed this project in March 2020. And uh, this has been our dream project due to the proactive support of the localities who have always supported the office, be it in Swaj Bharat matters, in uh, any community related efforts. So uh, this project has come about with the cooperation of the locality and the uh, Mopat CNRD block. Thank you. So, Monica, my next question to you is in our informal chat, you will see. One of the things that made you take this with ownership was because of the commitment from different stakeholders like say the, to start with the government mm -hmm. and then the community mm -hmm. and of course yourself. So give us something about it, like how did you make this happen? Mm -hmm. I mean, we are so happy to sit in this beautiful thing and it's like we are sitting under the starry sky and uh, the planets and things like that, you know. Mm -hmm. So to make this beautiful thing, something must have triggered you to do it. So how did you do it? engaging with the stakeholders. Uh, so as a block development officer, uh, we are aware of all the schemes available from the various line departments. But what happens, where I feel we lack, is that we all work in silos. As a block development officer, my, my sole aim should be only development, so I look only towards development schemes. From the social welfare point of view, they are only looking after nutrition and ICDS, so they concentrate on that. So this building per se is not, their concentrated efforts are not in improving a building. So their task is just to make a building and that should be available for the community. Similarly, in uh, for Swat Bharat, we have the, uh, you have seen the soap pit and the compost pit. So what happens is that we, from uh, PhD department under Swat Bharat, they just let out the schemes to the locality and they leave it to the locality to select a beneficiary. So we do not see a convergence coming together, a cohesive effort, it's not visible. Right. Yes, all the departments are working and working silos. So for this matter, I just have to put forward my plan, the larger picture, to the headman. So in a sense, I told him that since you have been allotted this number of soap pits and compost pits, why not put one set in the other one? So those sort of inputs which a locality may not see, but as being an implementing of the various schemes at the block level, I can uh, look at the larger picture and imagine what could come about, right. which the concerned line departments and the locality would not normally see. Right. So in that case, we took CRPF also have been very generous. Uh, when they had a civil action plan on uh, 2019, they came forward asking for proposals. So a uh, million block, my block, we had. So that was the time I could propose any scheme. Someone had taken solar lines and like for the community. So what I did when that opportunity was offered to me, I brought that for this on the white center. Mm -hmm. So if I had put that now, if I look back, if I see if I had donated it to some school or some other center, that effort that we have taken to bring this about could not be visible. Right. So I'm very uh, happy for the support of CRPF. They are the officer commandant who was there. He's now posted in Jammu and Kashmir. He is extremely elated that this is his work because he had offered help and we have put his help to good use. Great, yeah. that's so wonderful. So my next question to you is, since we also come from a think tank and an uh, and NGO perspective, we work with communities back in Bangalore and in the South. Uh, what are the lessons that you would like us to take back? For example, there was a challenge and how you overcame it. Nothing happens on a certain time. 
there are struggles, but I think the struggles is what strengthens us. So what are the key lessons you would like us to take back? From your learnings, from how you think, you know? And um, as a grassroots level uh, development officer, I feel that I mean, we have a lot of uh, aims and vision, but it's difficult to put that forward to the higher-ups, who are the decision makers, the policy makers, it's difficult. So I feel like it would be some sort of help if like a few, uh, maybe at the district level, at the state level, a few uh, forward-looking persons, if they could be brought forward and like, even from the blocks, the various blocks, if you could be asked, like, what would you like to do? How do you picture yourself improving right. the, the standing in the localities? Then we could, I think it would be of more use. Like, because why I, I say that is that, again, I am repeating, all the departments have schemes, right. but they all implement schemes separately. Mm -hmm. So unless we come together, that effort will not be visible. Right. The effort is there, no doubt. Nobody denies the effort, but then it requires, together with the locality, we also need the departments to come on board, right. let them be one team, so that we can better implement the schemes for a more visible effect. And I'm sure with one success story, there will be many more coming. Yeah. So that is my aim to push for like with one, so that others are also as willing and as enthusiastic to implement such similar schemes in other places. So I think that's it. Thank you so much for your time.